This video is going to show you how to calculate the acceleration from a velocity versus time graph. So here's my velocity versus time graph, and here's the question we're going to use to investigate this. What is the acceleration at 6 seconds? So we know from calculus and physics that the slope of the graph on a velocity versus time graph is the acceleration. So in math terms, what this problem is actually asking me to do is to find the slope at 6 seconds. So at 6 seconds, I'll go up, and there's my dot on the curve. It's not part of a straight line, it's part of a curved line. So to figure out its slope at this one location, I'll draw a tangent line. The tangent line touches the curve at one and only one location. And it's supposed to be parallel to the curve at this little location. You can see it looks like it's going to be parallel to that really small spot at six seconds. I know that slope is rise over run. On this graph, since it's a velocity versus time graph, that's going to be the change in velocity divided by the change in time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two points on my tangent line, two points that go hopefully through the corners of the uh, grid that I have drawn. That'll make my life a little bit easier. So I'll choose here at zero seconds and then way down here at nine seconds. And I'll find the change in velocity, so that's on the vertical axis. And that's final minus initial. So final's at nine seconds, initial's at zero seconds. So the change in velocity is going to be 10 meters per second minus a negative 2 meters per second, which equals 12 meters per second for the change. Horizontally, that's going to be the horizontal difference. I'm sorry, the, the run is going to be the horizontal difference between these two. So that's going to be 9 seconds minus 0 seconds, which is 9. So this is going to come out to be 10 minus a negative 2 divided by 9. And that's going to be 4 thirds meters per second squared. I get the units because I take the units of the rise, which are meters per second, divided by seconds. That's the same as meters per second times 1 over seconds. So that's meters per second squared. So the answer is 4 thirds meters per second squared.